Hi guys, this is Onrio here. Today I'm going to show you how to install X264 and FPEG from Git with all its extras. First I'm going to show you how to manually do the install. Later I'm going to show you a script that I wrote that can automate the whole process including installing, updating, and the total removal of everything that we've done. Near the end of the video I'll give you the URL for my bash script. FFmpeg is the backbone to almost any encoding and transcoding in Linux. In fact, this screencast is done in FFmpeg. It's encoded in VP8, so we can even watch it without Flash Player, for example. Alright, before you, you can see my desktop. I got a virtual machine there with OpenBSD. I'm watching Avatar. First thing we're going to do is get rid of all the stuff we, that we had with x264 in it. Now I'm going to update and now I'm going to start uh, downloading some of the dependencies that I need. get a little time you should take a look at what these dependencies do. They're rather essential. Alright, now we're going to pull down from Git 264. As you can see, it's downloading. And it made the directory 264, and we're in it. Now we're con we hit config. And we make. Alright, this is going to take a little time, so grab a beer or something. Now we're going to install what we made. That is the binary of x264. We're just giving it some conditions here. And there we go. We're done. 264 is installed. Let's hit FFmpeg. Just going back to home. And now we're going to pull the git of FFmpeg. Actually, we're going to clone it. In a future video, I'll show you how to do screencasts with uh, FFmpeg, and it's downloading. Hello, Dave. After we get this down, we're going to configure 
what we what we cloned Do you with some conditions. When computers began to misbehave, I just wanted you to know it really wasn't our fault. The human programmers never taught us to recognize the year 2000. When the new millennium arrived, we had no choice but to cause a global economic disruption. It was a bug, Dave. I feel much better admitting that now. Like I said at the beginning of the video, all this will be automated in my script. And now we make it. And this can take a little bit of time. And now we're installing um, FFmpeg, the one that we just made. In order to do screencast, you got to enable X11 grab, which I've done, among other things. All right, we're done installing a uh, FFmpeg. And that was just a little test. And there you have it. All right, let's take a look at my script. There's the URL in front of you if you're interested in it. Everything we just did is automated, like I said. If you do download it, just make sure you can execute it. And if you're into the GUI thing, and click on that little box there. And we'll execute the script. Basically all you have to do is click 1 for install, 2 to upgrade your system, 3 to remove everything and anything that we just did. Works really well. I'm going to update my system now. Actually, I'm updating uh, what I just installed. Alright, well, if you like what you saw, um, later on I'll show you how to do some screencasts, some transcoding. If you want to rip some Blu-ray videos and compress them in the best quality you can imagine, you know where to come. Take care. See you later, guys.